here for cleaning day, Bert? Are you clean huge thanks to mom and Kyle we did a deep clean in the bedroom ignore the pink sheets <laughs> I have the comforter in the big room but oh, can breathe so well in here so nice Good morning, Luna. Good morning, everyone. Let's head to work. Okay, just got home from work. Got my herbs, and I'm gonna take my walk while the sauna heats up because I am freezing. I, um, I decided just to put you guys closer um so I'm trying to think of to catch you guys up you guys saw so after Christmas we came home I was feeling pretty bad after vacation we decided to do a deep clean in our bedroom and my mom and Kyle did a wonderful job doing that on Saturday I had an out-of-place knee from work so I couldn't really put any pressure on my knee all weekend I still ended up getting up quite a bit more than I should have, but I wanted to get stuff done, but it was just a huge help to have them do that in our bedroom and get that all clean, get our um, our blinds fixed from the cats, get it all vacuumed under our bed, behind our couch, behind our, you know, everything. It look a little, you know, like sterile in there and there's not a lot of decor and things like that, but if you guys haven't, I recommend watching it. The the Monster Inside Me Lyme Disease documentary, and it is so good. I mean, it's real, but I mean, it's very accurate to how things that I've dealt with and how I felt and feel too. But they were saying like, you know, picture just like a room that's filled with garbage and it's uncomfortable and it's gross. That's kind of how you feel physically inside because your body is going through so much. It's under attack. It's sick. It's fighting and it hurts there's so many neurological things and so if you already feel that way on the inside you definitely don't want your surroundings to be that way I keep our house pretty minimal as is but we are we still have more than enough stuff 
So we're trying to go through things. The trickiest part, like I've said many times, is the will to declutter is there. The body isn't always able. It's really helped mentally knowing that we're going through things. So I went ahead and I took down Christmas and got that all cleaned up, which felt really good too. Yeah, just trying to keep my space as clean, keep my environment as calm as possible because I do have symptoms all the time. Um, I still really like the treatment I'm doing. I literally am still doing like an eighth of the full dosage and I think I'm just gonna have to stay there. I don't feel like I can really raise it. So we'll just keep doing that. Um, with the micro formulas, I feel like that's really good and I really like taking those small amounts of the Nutra herbs as well. So I'd like to be able to push more, but right now this is good to keep me where I'm at and what I can do. And so I can still prayerfully continue to work and I can do my walk and do all my detoxing and keep up with my house and stuff like that. How are you guys doing? How was the new year for you? Do you have, you know, it's hard, like I've said this before, to set like goals, but do you have realistic goals? Do you have, you know, mental goals? Um, that's a huge part of an illness um, is the mental side, you know, spiritual health, sort of things you're hoping to achieve or that you're wanting to continue to achieve. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification. And if you've been watching for a while or if you haven't, please consider sharing this channel so others can find it as well. I hope to be a positive place on the internet, a real place on the internet, help raise awareness and help others not feel so alone. So I'm gonna finish my walk here and I'll see you guys soon. I actually ended up doing a mile, thankfully. Um, just went a little slower than I have been, um, but that pain started to go away a little bit more, so always listen to your body. Don't push yourself just so you can get it done. Like, I, there's been plenty of days that I don't, I don't walk a mile. Sauna is heating up, but I know that while I'm in there, I'm gonna want food. So, I think I'm gonna make myself a yummy breakfast of eggs and an Applegate sausage. Then I will take off my little bit of tinted moisturizer on and get in the sauna. And then I'll probably do a little bit of editing as well. Okay, I know I've shown making this before, but I think I've done montages lately more than showing. We're making avocado pudding today. Two large ripe avocados, organic almond milk, cocoa powder, vanilla, stevia to taste. You can also use monk fruit. Also, some people talk about stevia being bitter, and I completely agree, except for this stevia. Yeah, if you use too much, it's not great. It does not leave a bitter aftertaste to me, and I've tried other stevias, like other people's houses, and not like it at all, so I recommend this stevia. I'm gonna go with a little organic cinnamon. Good snack. And if your avocados are starting to go bad, you can make this and then leave it in the fridge for a couple days. I like I like to top it with granola, which is all just nuts and seeds, or blackberries or blueberries, so they're really good. And then usually I'll do this, then I'll put it in two separate containers. I don't know how well you guys can see, but the consistency is so light and fluffy. 